Hello, how are you? Hi, Star. So, okay, I mean, I know you two are no strangers to voiceover work, but of course, every project is different, right? Especially this one. So, you know, just tell me about what went into creating the magic of Moon Girl and Devil Dinosaur. Like, were you two familiar with the series before you started? I was not. I, I were you, Libe? I wasn't, and I actually went to, when after when I like got the call of about a callback. I went to the store and I bought some comic books, read all of them, searching for Casey, and she wasn't in there. <laughs> and then I was right. called the writing her in. <laughs> I was like, oh yeah. <laughs> nice. Yeah, I, I wasn't familiar. I wasn't familiar at all. Uh, and I am a I'm not a comic book nerd, but I am an animation nerd. Mm -hmm, so mm -hmm. I was not I wasn't familiar with the world at all. And I am so glad I got it got thrown into it. That is 100 percent for sure. Mm -hmm. I mean, speaking of animation, it was beautiful. Like there were a lot of different elements of it that were really cool. So I just wanted to ask you each to um, tell me what are some of your favorite things about the series that you hope viewers resonate with. Well, you said one thing, what you just said with the beautiful animation, like there's not another cartoon on television that looks like this cartoon. Uh, Libé was talking about the artists earlier that they that, like they borrowed from like Basquiat and mm -hmm. Warhol, you know, like went straight up New York with it. Mm -hmm. And that feel of it, it's not like a little silky smooth thing. It's like gritty and and for lack of a better word, urban, you know, yeah. it's got such a cool popping look. So definitely that plus for me, that whole family unit thing, which is everything growing up in a huge family, mm -hmm. uh, that whole unity of family and friendship there. Yeah. Yeah. And I think that, yeah, the, the art, the music, the the stories the issues that are talked about and taken on but really like there's just so much heart and there's so much like and you know the everyone has taken such care to make each of these characters really come to life and to make the dynamics come to life be it with like you know recording together in the studio or how you know and like letting us like play and like riff off of like the already brilliant scripts that exist um mm -hmm. there's really just there's there's just so much heart that goes into it and so much love and I hope that people like feel that and, and honestly how many cartoons have you seen where the main what part of an episode the main episode is about a black girl's hair like come <laughs> on like, I got emotional and I have a six year old I have a six year old and I'm like this is going to be her entry into becoming a comic book nerd so uh, yeah. <laughs> and Libe I love the addition of Casey I mean great character you guys were hilarious. Um, I can't wait for people to see it. Um, what do you, I don't know, like, what do you, what else do you want viewers to take away from? Well, can I, this? Libe, please tell them your story about your heritage, because I think that is just ridiculous. Oh, yeah. yes. Ooh. I think that's something, yeah. So something that is like, that we've been talking about is like, this show is truly, you know, we're in a time when we, we talk a lot about representation, but this show, it really mm. is it. And it does it right and well. And like, you know, from the writer's room to the cast, like, I, when I auditioned for the part, Casey was just Latina. And mm -hmm. then when they found out that I was also Jewish, they were like, what do you think about us making Casey Latina and Jewish? And I was like, I love this. I, there has, I've never seen a character on TV. That's both of those. And, you know, I think that, the, and there's pieces that I, you know, and, and we have conversations about it. And like, I see the way, you know, like food that we, in my household, will have like matzo ball soup and like enchiladas and like, you know, things like that, that like, we see on the screen now too. And Casey has this bat mitzvah episode where I like, I get to, I sing this like original song that I got to record with Raphael Sadiq that he wrote. Oh, like, nice. Yeah, that has like Jewish elements and pop elements. And it's just, it's so fun. And it's like, it feels like, and it's all very real. Nice. And it all feels very New York too. Yeah. So, yeah. all right, yeah. they're, they're giving me the wrap up. Thank you guys so much. Thank you, Star. Bye-bye. <laughs>